Aloha everyone, uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, all of that jazz. Uh, I just wanted to put together a quick video to showcase or kind of preview one of the features that I'm working on at the moment, which is the new Android touchscreen controls. Well, Android, iOS, any kind of mobile type platform. Um, so if we just head straight into the demo facility, I can show you where we're at. So what we have here is uh, a kind of virtual gamepad set up with uh, touch controls. So under my left thumb, we've got a virtual analog stick, which handles the movement. On my right, we've got a virtual trackpad. And then we've got various buttons like the crouch, the jumping, aiming, things like that. Uh, also got buttons up here for switching different weapons. Yeah, um, so any of these controls can fall through uh, to uh, whatever's behind them. So this trackpad here for looking around is set to uh, consume the input, but then the rest of the screen is actually using one giant trackpad, uh, which is a lower sensitivity, but also falls through to a shoot button as well. So this lets you kind of shoot with either thumb and have a bit of fine grain control, whilst this one is a much faster look around for while you're moving, things like that. So yeah, it's... Uh, it's feeling quite good already, I think. It's uh, pretty smooth. You can do quite a lot with it. Um, yeah, once you uh, once you get used to it, you can uh, almost play it as well as a normal gamepad. Uh, just obviously, the main problem is that you only have two inputs, two thumbs um, at any one time. So whereas with a gamepad, you can have trigger buttons for your shooting. Um, this will kind of restrict it a little bit. Which, uh, ooh, out of ammo. So yeah. Um, so this right here is using the old input manager. Uh, touch, touch input. Um, I still have to sort out the, um, the version that uses the input system. Uh, but I've had a look at the API. I've been having a quick dig around. And it's relatively similar. So it should be quite a fast job. Um, we're talking New Year on Saturday uh, here, so two days away. So I'm obviously going to get a bit distracted with that, but hopefully it should be releasing an update with this in uh, in the coming days straight after. So first thing in 2023. It doesn't make the 2022 trailer, unfortunately. Um, yeah, and yeah, it's looking pretty good. So this is using a Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. Yeah, so this was a flagship phone, but we're talking like seven years ago. So performance-wise, a modern, like past two, three years kind of phone, decent spec, should be running this all right. This is running 60 FPS. The Samsung caps out at 60, so it could be running faster than that, but probably not much faster, if at all. Um, certain features, like for example, if we grab the sniper rifle here, and then we zoom in. So this is using a render texture scope, so a second camera rendering at the same time. So this does affect the frame rate quite drastically. This pulls it down to like the 30, 35, 40 kind of uh, region. So that's still very playable uh, and decent for a mobile FPS. But there's various things that you might want to do if you're planning to release on mobile. Like, uh, so we have two sets of physics here. We have the high detail and the low. You might want to just use low detail. Um, Graphics-wise, you could knock the resolution down to 720, whereas this is a 1080 screen. Uh, various things like that. You can knock physics frame rate down to 30 FPS rather than 50. Um, there's a number of things that you can do to kind of claw back performance. And like I say, this is very usable. Once you're just running around and moving, this is capping out at 60 FPS and rarely dips below it in the demo facility. Um, Setup-wise, I have done very little. I've just started a new project, imported new FPS, switched over to Android, then there were a couple of things that I had to sort, like uh, switching the OpenGL version to GLS ES3, not 2, uh, which let me use linear rendering, um, and so on. So the menus all work. Um, let's just try the parkour demo, so I set this one up as well. So this one I've switched, so it's not fire on the center here, it's fire on this one instead. Uh, just because I found it a little bit easier to kind of coordinate. But this is like a really taxing one for touchscreens. Uh, 
obviously you have to be very coordinated between your aim and your kind of movement so it's uh it's a very tricky one to uh to actually control fluidly so this is kind of like the extreme of what you might get in a game uh personally i would not go for a grappling hook in a mobile game it's just a little bit too much however the blink skill this one works pretty well so you can quite easily get around your maps very quickly with this with your arcane style like dishonored um death loop those types of games yeah it's uh as yeah, so overall it's looking pretty good so hopefully next uh within the next week i should have an update out and you can all have a play around with this and uh yeah otherwise uh happy new year and we'll uh, see you all in 2023 so cheers